I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to TV News, your source for the latest Ocrest and national news stories making headlines. I'm Ashley and with me today is Taylor. On today's show, we'll take a look at what important dates you should be writing down on your calendar, as well as what sports are hitting the field today after school. We've got a lot ahead on today's show, including how to get involved in some clubs during this school year. As always, thanks for joining us here on YouTube, where you can always find our more current events and past episodes. You can also follow us on OHS Falcon TV on Twitter, again this year, for all the most recent events, announcements, school stories, and upcoming events. Don't forget, we're here to bring you the news you need, and if there's OCRAS or local news happening that you want featured on our program, we want to know about it. Send your news story on our way by dropping off any announcements a day in advance at the studio, emailing us info at talentproductions at yahoo.com or by tweeting us at OHS Falcon TV. Also, you can let us know how we're doing by providing feedback the same way. Many organizations and sports are already meeting, but many future events and activities have already been scheduled to take place in the incoming weeks. If you're a new student or just don't know what's coming up in September, here's a quick look at what you can expect. Teachers, Back to School Night is scheduled to be held on September 15th at 6 p.m. So students, start the year right and on your best behavior. For those of you already planning on staying after school for some extra help or a club next week, starting on September 12th, activities will begin to run after school and announce dates and be sure to get involved this year on joining a club or activity. Speaking of activities, the annual activity carnival sponsored by the Student Council will be held on September 29th in front of the school during 12th period. All of Oakcrest's clubs and sports will be in attendance, selling food, playing games, and giving students a chance to see what each group is really all about. If students, if interested, students will have an opportunity to sign up for those clubs as well. Here's a look at past carnivals, but for more information on this year's event, stay tuned to Falcon TV. their education beyond Ocrest by attending a two-year, four-year college or trade school on September 30th, the annual Junior Senior College Fair will be held in the cafeteria. Be sure to let your guidance counselor know if you're interested and find out which schools will be in attendance this year, as well as how to submit applications if you're looking for opportunities. This fair is a great way to meet college advisors and get more important information about the schools you're interested in. Think of all the places you go in your flip-flops. Because of those places, up to 18,000 different bacteria can be on one pair. Bacteria like staph and other dangerous diseases. Do yourself a favor. Give the flip-flops a break. Well, finally, let's take a look at Ocrest Sports, are on the schedule for today. First, the girls' soccer team will face EHT here at home at 4 p.m. The girls' tennis team will play a match against Mainland, also here at home. Over the weekend, you can see the boys' cross-country team travel for a race at the Cherokee Challenge, 
We hope to have a result from all the games as soon as they become available. And the football team will play its first big game of the season here on the football field at 7 p.m. against Holy Spirit. The Falcons made it all the way to the state championship game last year, and they're looking like they're going to continue the winning ways which they started last season. Coach Chuck Smith returns for his second season as head coach, joining many other returning key senior leaders who hope to take back t the title. Also, big weekend for another reason. Saturday will mark the 10th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks on New York and Washington, D.C. We're pleased to destroy the financial and political centers of our country, as well as many lives. Stay tuned at the end of our show for a look back at it, the events of September 11, 2001, and how normal people were affected by actions that impacted our society permanently. Before we go today, don't forget to check out our Falcon TV website for the latest updates on everything, Ocrest and what's happening in the media program. On our website, you'll find links to videos, photos, and more. Our site address is at the bottom of the screen, and you can also get to us through the Ocrest webpage. Well, that's all for our show today. Thanks for watching. I'm Taylor, and for everyone else here at the Falcon TV News Studio, have a great day, and we'll see you back here on Monday for more Ocrest News. I'm Taylor, and have a great day. Uh, I think that we can go back to 9-11. Uh, uh, I, I was principal of Oak Crest uh, when that tragic event happened and, and I remember that um, we watched it on TV and uh, that was uh, just something that from a historical perspective is, I know is going to stay with me for the rest of my life. I got called out by the emergency medical services to report to Ground Zero. Um, to me, it looked like the end of the world. I remember thinking that this is what hatred looks like and what happens when people take out their anger on other innocent people. I remember sitting on the pile and just watching for hours as the firemen and the men with the bulldozers and the men with the cranes would work to remove a lot of the debris and bucket by bucket they would hand it down to the next fireman. And it would just go down in rows and once in a while, they would be able to find a piece of garment, a fire jacket or a helmet, or a piece of personal property. It was the most touching, the worst moments of my life, and yet the most rewarding moments of my life. We ended up staying there to help the workers because the workers were just working for hours and hours and they were becoming exhausted and we would take them to the hospitals and our main duty ended up actually just being there to help the workers because they weren't giving up and that's one of the things that stuck in my mind. People just band together to help and to try to not necessarily anymore find survivors but to bring closure to the families and to let the families know that everything was being done to try to help them. After that, uh, during the weeks and the months after 9-11, uh, to see the number of charitable endeavors that various groups at Oak Crest High School became involved in uh, to help support uh, the victims and the families of the victims uh, during that tragedy. Uh, to me, uh, that was that Falcon Pride moment uh, that will stay with me forever.